In this video, we're gonna learn how to plot UV visible spectra using Origin software. First of all, as you can see from the screen, you have to uh, copy your data on uh, Origin. As you can see, the X and Y axis. Uh, the second step is entering your uh, XY. Uh, axis title as you can see here the x the x axis we're gonna be uh, y plant and the y axis will be the intensity also be sure to enter the units of each axis and then select x and y both of them and try to click on plot and then line to plot your graph uh, there is a second way to do, to do this, just select them again and go to the bottom and click on line. And here we go, here are the graph. As you can see, you automatically have the, the name of the X axis and the Y axis, as you can see. Um, you can also enter, it, uh, enter them manually, but uh, this way is the best one. Um, mm. Unlimited royalty free music for videos and media projects. Double click on one of the axes of your plot will uh, show you th this box where you, where you can adjust your, uh, your graph and make it uh, sound more professional. As you can see, you can work on uh, trick levels or uh, even sections. So you can add sections from the bottom, from the, the top, and from the right, and from the left also. And now, uh, Follow the instructions to make your uh, graph sound more professional. Just the ending of your uh, x, y axis, just go to check levels and modify which point the x axis will start from and which, which point will be the end. And you can do the same uh, for the y axis as well. What makes uh, Origin uh, more professional is its key feature that allows you to modify your plot according to your preferences. As you can see, you can work on the style of your plot, uh, you can change its width also if you would like to make it larger, uh, and of course you can, uh, you can choose the, the, the color uh, which you like to do uh, on your plot. And you can do the same with your uh, X, Y axis as well. If you would like to have another 
axis on the left of your uh, blobs double click on the y axis and then you're gonna have this box go to tick levels and then click on left and here you go you can see that you have a model on the y axis on the left of your uh, parts Depending on your needs, and, and then you can adjust it according to your preferences. 